Welcome to Toffee TV. It is my three things. Huddersfield Town 1, Everton 2 in the Carabao Cup. The Blues are through. I am in the car. I've already said on me, Matt Jackson, the Wi-Fi is non-existent and I have to come out of uh, where we're staying to, to actually be able to watch it. So I'm here, so apologies for that. Uh, Everton have won the game. They are into the third round of the Carabao Cup. Decent start to the season. They're still unbeaten. Two victories and a draw in their opening three games. So decent little start to the new season. Uh, let's go with number one. I'm going to talk about Moise Keane. Uh, I really, really wanted Moise Keane to do well tonight on a start. You know, if he's going to stay, we want him to do the best, you know, the best he can do, don't we? Um, I keep waiting for him to kind of catch fire at Everton and really get on it. And I hope tonight will be the start of it. And you know what? The first, the first half he showed some signs. His back to goal play was decent. He was getting involved, scored a really good goal that should have stood, in my opinion. He looked miles on side. Um, not miles, he looked on side. Took his goal really well. And I was hoping that would be the, the catalyst tonight. Get a few goals, maybe, um, you know, good performance and see where we go from there. And then in the second half, he, he goes and gets himself sent off. Now, as I've said on my match reaction, and I'm not going to veer away from that, it's a stupid rule for me. The lat You get kicked, and because you turn round, and puff your chest out or have a go at the lad who's well injured after the ball's being played. You're the man that gets sent off. It's nonsense by the referee. Let he's to me showed he's either tried to make a name for himself because he knows Moise Keane has played a PSG in that, or he showed his inexperience. Um or he just tried to level the game up by sending a Premier League footballer off and giving the championship side some hope. I don't know, but it was a terrible decision in my opinion. If you're going to give a red, they both have to be sent off. Personally, I think it was a yellow for both. I think he was stupid, but you know, if someone boots you after the ball, you're going to react. You're not going to just leave it because you can't trust these clowns who are refereeing it. And you know, the officials are an embarrassment everywhere you go. You can't, and especially ones who are a referee in championship football and league one and all that. Um, but for him, he's been red carded now. So it's not going to do him any good at all. You know, if he was going to stay, we need him to start enjoying it. He's being sent off. I don't know how much Rafa Benitez just would just think. He might look at it and go, it's one of those things we move on from it. But it's not great, is it, when you're hoping someone can really get going in his career. But I just think he's got to get his head down and really start delivering for us and I was hoping tonight would be the start of that but it's ended sourly and uh, sometimes things just don't happen but we'll see the second thing I'm going to talk about is Michael Keane I thought tonight it was another poor performance from him uh, I don't want to dig him out too much but he's got to get his head up and get his confidence going you know these are the games he should be strolling through and yet twice three times tonight he's let a championship lad run off him with having no clue we saw it against Southampton his error led to the goal that you know behind he was at fault for at least one if not both the Leeds goals at the weekend for me the first goal in particular was embarrassing where Patrick Bamford ran off him the second goal he should have been the one dealing with the header but you know by the by but tonight his, his overall play just not what I expect from him. And I've been I've, I've been someone who's supported Michael Keane and said, you know what, when he's on it, he's good and, you know, he can do this and that. But just right now, he's doing that thing again where once his confidence goes, he's shaky. And tonight, Begovic has dug him out of a hole because he's just let a lad run off him and have a clear shot. He still doesn't react. Then the goal, he gets nowhere near the centre-back. And then in the second half, just aimlessly heading it back to them and hitting balls out. I want him to start performing if he's going to stay and be our main defender which managers keep playing him so therefore they like him then he's got to be able to cope with adversity and just right now he's not performing at the level I expect I hope that Ben Godfrey is well he should be available for the weekend I still think Yeri Mean is our best centre back I think Godfrey's got the ability to be the best and maybe tonight was one of those from Rafa Benitez saying you know what we'll protect Mina and give him, you know, rest and stuff, and we'll get Godfrey back in there at the weekend. And maybe it was Michael Keane's opportunity to to perform or just to get games or whatever. But if he's going to stay in, he's got to get back to being solid and dependable. If nothing's on, put your foot through the ball, but be decisive. And, after, and mark your men. Stay with... If they had one man up front, stay with them. 
you know, instead of just letting people run off you because it's causing issues. Uh, and third, let's finish on a positive. Third and final point is Alex Awobi. Alex Awobi, I thought tonight was good for Everton. Uh, I thought he started the season quite well. I think he came on against Southampton and changed the game, let's be honest. Uh, I thought at Leeds at the weekend, he worked hard. I don't think he was great, but he worked hard and stuck and was disciplined and fought for the team. And he should have had an assist, you know, lovely ball to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. On another day, he buries that and Awobi gets an assist. But tonight, he scored a goal, lovely finish, great run uh, after great play from Tom Davies. And he plays his part in Everton's winning goal as well, involved as a pre-assist. So, you know, really positive to see that because, again, we can all sit here and go, I'd sell Awobi and I'd sell him and I'd sell him and I'd sell him. But at the end of the day, if these lads are staying, then we have to get behind them. And to get behind them, which I think the fans are, is do you want them to do well? And we want to be able to say he's contributing, he's really doing well for us now and we get behind him. And if he feels like we're confident in him, I don't know, might, might get more out of him. But Rafa Benitez will, will give him a task and it's up to him to do it. And tonight he scored the goal and he had, you know, he was involved in the build-up for the winning goal. So he's done his job and, and he got my man of the match tonight. So more of that, please, Mr. Awobi. That are my three things tonight. Uh, make sure you check out all the other instant match reaction videos and player ratings. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And if you want more videos, join us over on Patreon. Have a great night. We'll see you later.